NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is testing a new robot that could help answer the age-old question of whether life exists beyond Earth. The Exobiology Extant Life Surveyor System is a 16-foot snake-like robot designed to maneuver through solid and liquid surfaces while collecting samples on different planets. One of NASA's main goal is to reach the surface of Enceladus, which is a moon of Saturn, and examine its icy features. When the Voyager spacecraft flew past Enceladus in the 1980s, scientists discovered that the surface of this moon is very icy and relatively smooth. They also found out that it's extremely cold, with temperatures dropping to more than 300 degrees Fahrenheit, below zero. In 2005, NASA's Cassini spacecraft discovered that icy particles flowed from the surface of this moon into space, creating its own ring while orbiting Saturn. These eruptions from the moon's surface suggested that a vast liquid ocean may lie beneath the surface. The hostile conditions are one of many challenges that NASA has taken into account while designing this robot that can survive in the extreme environment. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, this system is designed to move through different types of environments, such as watery terrain, confined spaces, and oceans. It is adaptable and can adjust to the challenges presented by these environments. Further, the adaptability of this system can also explore martial polar caps and descending crevasses in the Earth's ice sheets. This snake-like robot is made of multiple segments, that contain the necessary components for movement, power, and communication. The robot has unique rotating propulsion units that serve multiple functions, such as acting as tracks, gripping mechanisms, and propellers. These features allow the robot to move underwater and follow plume vents to their source in the ocean. How this snake-like robot thinks and moves Because of the communications lag time between Earth and deep space, this robot is designed to autonomously sense its environment, calculate risk, travel, and gather data with science instruments. When something goes wrong, the goal is for the robot to recover on its own, without any human assistance. Imagine a car driving autonomously, but there are no stop signs, no traffic signals, not even any roads. The robot has to figure out what the road is and try to follow it. Then it needs to go down a 100-foot drop and not fall. This robot creates a 3D map of its surroundings, using four pairs of stereo cameras and LiDAR, which is similar to radar but employs short laser pulses, instead of radio waves. With the data from those sensors, navigation algorithms figure out the safest path forward. The goal is to make a collection of movements, that the robot can use to tackle different types of ground obstacles. These movements include sidewinding and curling up. A complex propulsion system will allow for surveying of solid or liquid landscapes, and members have been busy testing the surveyor in hostile regions on Earth. The 16-foot-long robot has been used to examine glaciers and volcanoes to put its capabilities to the test. NASA has not set a launch date for this robot yet, meaning any mission is likely years away. If the launch of the 16-foot-long robot is successful, it could lead to a deeper exploration of celestial planets that were once considered impossible.